Yo, what's good? Welcome to Shit IDK, where we did not know that there is a species of jellyfish that can live forever. Did you know that? No. Yeah. I time. mean, but anything can be eaten. So, <laughs> how forever is forever. That is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. My name is Lance Moore. I'm here with Jade and Jay. What's good? What's up, y'all? What's up? How's I, it going? Hey, man. It's been a good Season week. Season three, episode three. Season three, episode three. We rocking and rolling this thing, man. Welcome we, back. Uh, Welcome back. We in this thing. We here to stay, man. We've been we've been giving it to you on a consistent level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been week after week. We've been putting them on the god dang on board. Mm. Oh, yeah. that was solid right there. That was like it electricity was. went through yeah. that. Yeah. That's exactly how these episodes That's are. That's how too. they yeah. rolling out. Electric. Yeah. 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 So what's been going on this week? What are we talking about? What's good in music? Um, I mean, I y'all heard me talking about my girl Chaperone last uh -huh. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, she is Chaperone. clapping back at Honestly, it's her haters. It's not even her fans because all she's trying to do mm -hmm. is set some personal boundaries, okay. which she's entitled to. Yeah, 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 yeah. You I know. think, uh, so before we get into it, tell the people, like, what's actually going on. Okay, so a few days ago, Chapel Rome posted a video on TikTok talking about how um, she's not entitled to, you know, take pictures with people if mm -hmm. she's, you know, just hanging out with her friends or something like that. Um, she's not entitled to always, you know, be meeting someone or greeting people that she doesn't know with a smile and you know just being like you know what you typically see in a star like she's yeah. not signing up for that she is you know opting out of that part okay okay um and people were upset people were very upset about that tiktok video um that happened on like monday or tuesday and so on this past friday she went to instagram this time and um posted a like four page that's a lot of pages. response <laughs> that's a lot of a pages. four page response i would have simplified it i would have been like i don't owe you shit. <laughs> i mean that's basically what she said <laughs> but no nah, i mean i i mean so here's the thing like when you're an artist it's a double-sided coin because you got on one on one side you got to be out there for the people you got to like show this hey i'm an artist side i'm lovable i'm a i'm a um, I'm here, you know, so I make this music, I give you a piece of me, and you know what I'm saying, that's that's it. But yeah. on the other side, you gotta understand that that this it's a human. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that person is not a robot, it's a human, you know? Yeah. So uh it's yeah. And I think, um the way she described it, she was like, I don't have to be obligated to deal with predatory behavior yeah. in disguise as a super fan. Like yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, something yeah. that she wants to do. And like like you were saying, like there's uh, two sides to it. Um, mm -hmm. She, I could quote her word for word. She was like, "There's a part of me that I reserve for you guys on the stage, mm -hmm. as Chapel. Whenever she's in her drag, whenever she's you know doing meet and greets and things like that, like she reserves that part of herself for her fans. But you know, whenever she's not in drag, whenever she's hanging out with her family and things like that, you know, that's a part of herself that she would like to keep for her. And I don't." think there's anything wrong with that and i think if you do have a problem with that you're kind of weird <laughs> like you want to be able to run up on somebody when they in the bathroom at any time yeah come on like, man give me some peace bothering her family <laughs> it was really funny because she was like and don't call me kaylee <laughs> no, no that's wild man no you gotta uh, you gotta set boundaries i think boundaries are important uh especially in today's world I, that's what i learned that's what i've learned at the age of such and such such and such <laughs> a number that should not be a disclosed. number that shall not be disclosed uh boundaries boundaries are important boundaries with family boundaries with friends uh boundaries with your kids you know what I'm saying you gotta set those boundaries you know boundaries are important so um yeah if you don't people gonna be all up across the borders they're gonna yeah. be they're gonna be thinking that they are uh obligated and um think they're obligated to your time and your personal space and your well-being like all of that you got to set up some kind of you got to build a wall yeah okay? <laughs> boundaries are important i mean this is a thing yeah. for a reason no for sure for sure but yeah now uh more power too i'm glad she stood on what she stood on you exactly know, you and she doubled down on it yeah <laughs> she you put gotta, her foot down you gotta put both of them down you gotta hey mm -hmm. this is mine you know so yeah so i think that's dope because honestly what other star has done that yeah. that's i'm have you heard about like how Taylor Swift has like disguised herself in like suitcases and stuff? Wait, what? <laughs> Literally, like there's um She disguised herself as a suitcase? Yeah, like she 
Okay, so fans were sitting outside of her concerts, uh-huh. waiting on her. Um, her security rolls in luggage. Yeah. And she just she, in the suitcase. She, yeah, she never like comes in. She never comes into the auditorium. Like wow. no one ever sees her walk in. That's smart. And no, so that's people smart. were like, she was in those suit. She was in the luggage. She in the luggage. She just but, in there chilling, just on the iPhone, like these motherfuckers. Literally, <laughs> like, but why? Why does she even have to do that? Yeah. Like just to avoid the super fans. Like that's yeah. a bit much, and that's exactly what Chaperone yeah. is unsubscribing to. No, for sure. I think uh, like more power to her. Like shout out to her for setting those setting those boundaries. Uh, Early on, I too. would get fun with it though. Like if I was, <laughs> if I was like, you know, what I'm saying super famous. And I see like the paparazzi. I would like go dress up as paparazzi and just like bit, play like like I'm in the paparazzi, but then just like walk past. I'm like, yeah, suckers didn't even know I was here. But then wouldn't they just follow her? And they follow know it's me. I'm gonna have a fucking fake but, like, mustache. They're gonna on. be like, where I'm is that person glasses. going? Are they gonna get a better shot than me? I'm gonna have credentials. I'm gonna have my but credentials. All the other pa- paparazzi are too. No, not the credentials I'm gonna have. It's gonna be like oh. super special credentials. Oh, you're not allowed. Yeah, you're not allowed. These are special. Pa- yeah, okay. no, no, no. You got to get creative. You got to get functional. creative. I think you lose your creativity when you start setting, you just start setting up boundaries. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm not doing this. But then you lose. You don't get to do the fun stuff, you know? But I hey, mean, it's man. just the fun stuff that you choose to do. Yeah, but I would be, like, super creative with it. I would just do, like, fun shit. Like, she, like, disguised herself as a suitcase. I would, like, go, like, full. Well, let's. You should just go like full metal gear. Sound cooler than what it was. Just go full metal gear and she just didn't just dress up as a box. As a suitcase. Okay. She got in a suitcase and zipped it closed uh, and had them push her. Like it wasn't thought, like she was, like had like a transformer that? type. Like, she, like no. <laughs> she had a Halloween costume. She was just a suitcase. And she then she stood like, up and it was like <laughs> the handle and. <laughs> no. It was like who put this random suitcase here? Oh shit, it's Taylor Swift. What the? That'll be wild. That'll be wild as shit. Um, yeah. That's insane. That'll be crazy. Uh, don't be stealing my ideas out there, you know? But that's wild. Uh, on, to, on to the next. <laughs> that's hey, crazy. Have you heard of New Killer Mike? Yeah, I did. Just now, actually. Okay. He just gained a fan. He just gained a fan. I did I my job. I feel like I'm late. I mean, he hey. literally like swept the, what was that? The Grammys? The Grammys. That's 3P. insane. 3P. How did I miss that? So, yeah, man. Multi-Grammy Award winning artist, Killer Mike, man. Hey, if you're seeing this, I did my job. I made her a fan. I made her a fan. Okay? Yep. I did my job. And, and you know, I'm, I'm a fan because of how well-spoken he is. Yeah. Like, I'm just yeah. sick of rappers with no substance yeah. like can we please show these young men something yeah. other than swinging mm-hmm. guns around just because you think it's cool but that's what you get so it kind of like proves the whole like the whole uh fight with killer mike you know it's uh you're never too old you're never too old to uh, Ooh, to, yeah. uh, to 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 chase your dreams and follow your dreams and especially in the rap game like the music like we're we're at a point now where shit i'm getting older man i don't want to hear shoot them up bang bang you know what I'm saying? all the time i don't want to hear that you know what I'm i saying? don't either like I'm i don't want to hear like all in the club and shit i don't i ain't in the club every day you literally know what that's I mean? not my lifestyle i want to hear so you got your club music, you got your Friday through Saturday music, Friday through Sunday music, but I need that Monday through Thursday, get me through the situations type of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because music is supposed to be therapeutic. I don't want to escape from my reality all the time. Sometimes I want to sit and process yeah, with the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to hear some contemporary, uh, some contemporary age appropriate music <laughs> that's good for my soul, okay? Yeah. And that's what I find in Killer Mike. That's what I find in Killer Mike's music. I really liked whenever he said um, on The View, he was like, keep your nine year old self still alive, like, oh, keep yeah. that child still alive. Because um, honestly, this past summer, that's something that I've thought about, and I'm like, what? What did I want to do when I was a kid? Like, yeah. what are some of the things that I just looked forward to? to doing as an adult and I started like kind of trying to incorporate those things back into my life today Mm -hmm. just um so I'm not just getting stuck in the day-to-day you know like sometimes the stressors like that's all you'll think about you'll forget about all the things that you once found joy in and things like that so I thought that was um that's something that resonated me with me that he said and that actually is what made me be like okay I might be able to listen to this dude you know no for sure you got to keep that inner kid alive you got to 
like your dreams, your goals, all of that. Because you have you ever say a person that just look like they just let their dreams just go away? Yeah. It's like and it's it, it's the robot. Yeah, and it it just you can it sucks tell the life out of you. It's uh, it's the nine to five did that for me, so it was like yeah. I had to get away from it. You know, I had mm-hmm. to get away from it. I was like dying inside slowly from just doing a just the robot it, schedule. In the robot schedule, I wake up. 6 a.m., go to work, 7 o'clock, get off at 4 o'clock, go yeah. home, sleep, do the same thing every day, every day, every day, just killing it. So Yeah, I feel but, like that's just a result of uh, not operating in your passion. No, definitely, definitely. And I think that's the that's the type of messages that we need, especially in our music, especially mm-hmm. in our... Uh, in the black community. In the black community, in our day-to-day, everything, you know. So, uh, and there's a lot of that on the album. Um, so, the album that he won the Grammys for was called Michael. And those songs on there just resonate so much throughout the uh, throughout the whole span of listening to it. I'm talking about it. it's zero skips on the album. Like you can listen to it and just <laughs> just zone out, you know what I'm saying? And just and just get nuggets of information through every song. So that was uh so he got album of the year last mm-hmm. year for the uh, for the song. He got album of the year, performance of the year and best uh rap song. Best rap song. Yeah, so all best, the Grammys. All on the Grammys. So he got three Grammys, three pre. Three, and he's from Atlanta, pre- right? Oh yeah, man. So he yeah. is a, he's what I consider a Atlanta historian. You know, mm. because he knows. I mean, just a hip hop historian, just in general, because he knows the he knows the culture, he knows the music, he knows like the history behind it. He um, he was on a show uh, I want to say uh, last week, and they had uh they did the uh, top five. I think they had like him do like the top five uh, artists. Uh, in Atlanta, and they had the list, but he um, he didn't go without saying like from the start, like uh, the Dungeon Family and uh, Outkast, how they helped build the mm-hmm. build the foundation of Southern rap, and yeah. you know, so he's a historian uh, of the music, and just a he's one of those uh, he's just one of those goats, one of those one yeah. of those gatekeepers of the community that's that's gonna push forward through. Exactly, and now that you're saying that, like even on the View, I remember any chance he got, he was like shouting out his yeah, jeweler. Yeah, you got to like, um, and, like it's it's, yeah. and it's all Atlanta, and it's all Atlanta. So mm-hmm. we we definitely need people like that that's gonna do it. We need people in our uh, we need people in our own cities that's gonna that's gonna ride for us and do stuff like this. So Killer Mike yeah. is definitely a reflection of what we need in the hip hop community. So I just appreciate him so much. Anytime I can get a chance to talk about Killer Mike, I'm gonna talk about Killer Mike. Uh, the album uh, Mighty uh, Mighty Midnight Revival, say <laughs> ten songs of heat fire, giving that same reflection of Michael. So it's it's a it's a good album. It's a good album. I hope yeah. he gets uh, more accolades uh, along the way. So. What was your favorite song on the album? Humble Me. Humble Me. Humble Me was really, really good. Yeah. Um, I watched that video. It was pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, there was a part in the video where, um, so he's being, so he's piggybacking, he's piggybacking off of the Grammy Awards when uh, they came in and uh, he got arrested that same night. So he was at the what was what would be called like the top, the pinnacle, you know what I'm saying, of of the night, uh, winning the awards, getting everything and um and he's being uh stripped of those things, you know. He's being stripped of those things because the police they uh, escorted him out of the venue and uh due to a stripped of the glory of the moment because he the, still got his re- yeah awards. yeah 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 he still left out with uh with what do you say with the respect that he that he came yeah in that with. he came in yeah with. but it was just a uh, oh and something else he said he was like all my heroes been uh, oh been yeah all my heroes been locked malcolm, up malcolm malcolm Mar- uh, Mar- martin luther yeah. so all of them so that's that was nothing that's mm-hmm. small thing to a giant so i'm glad he has that uh that vision and that uh that and even thought. that perseverance yeah and like just that type of representation in the black community mm-hmm. i feel like it's really key because a lot of people like they'll let one small thing happen to them like they got humbled like the song says yeah um and that'll be the end for them they'll just let that like take over and yeah, yeah. Take over the reins, you know. So no, for sure, for sure. But it was a, uh, but it was a part in the video where he's being stripped of all these things. They're taking off his, uh, they're taking off his jewels, and they reach for his uh, necklace. And his necklace has a, mo- a picture of his mother. So his mother just passed away. Uh, bless her soul. Um, and she, you see, a, you see, a, uh, you see her hand kind of shield uh, them from taking that, uh, that, that uh, necklace. You know. And so that was a that was a powerful part in the video. So, yeah. And it resonated with me, you know. So that was that was a good one. So yeah. And I think that's 
like even a bigger message just from that mm -hmm. uh, aspect of the video is they can't take where you came from. Yeah. Like yeah. regardless of what happens, like nobody can take that away from you. Like the where you came from, the things you overcome. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's yeah, dope. That's dope. And he's in politics. And he's in politics. I need to. I would vote for Killer Mike for president. I'm just going to lay that there. I would. <laughs> I need to do more education <laughs> to see what he's actually doing in politics. I, but yeah, uh, I, I like that. I like that he's um, outspoken yeah. still to this day. Like, they're not taking his voice. I think that's something no. that he said in the interview as well. Definitely. definitely. But yeah, that's dope. That's dope. That's, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, technology. What's new in technology? Would you ever want to travel to the to space? That is just, a good for, just, just for just for fun, fun just for fun just for funsies just i feel like see? that's how so i watch a lot of like science fiction movies and i feel like that's how we gonna get a symbiote <laughs> like a symbiote like venom like the the alien that attaches to the astronaut comes back down oh, to earth wow. and everybody's getting killed by aliens now because we played with something that we weren't supposed to at the time so, but yeah, so you know, Elon mm -hmm. Musk, whatever Musk, Musk, whatever, and everything he wants to do with all his billion trillions of dollars that uh -huh. he don't want to give to anybody in need. I'm um, telling you, he man, he is, lazy. He lazy. He could fund the Avengers if he wanted to, but that's not. He's created a company called SpaceX. I know you've heard about it. It's been in the talks for a while, and uh -huh. so he's just taking rich people to space just for fun. Just for fun. I mean, like the universe isn't already dying, but <laughs> hey. they putting holes in the atmosphere for no apparent reason. They just want to go just for funsies, just for funsies. But it's now, not cute and it's not demure <laughs> type shit. Uh, I think I mean, it might be cool. It might be cool. If I had enough money and I was like, you know what? I want to see what the planet looked like from far away. You know? I would just get a microscope. <laughs> a high quality microscope. A high quality microscope. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could be, you know, it could be fun. It could be fun. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, in a couple of years when we being attacked by aliens and shit, I know who to blame. And on a more positive note, mm -hmm. actual smart people with brains the actual ones. are using genetic testing to uh, better identify more effective treatments for patients. Okay. And I think that's amazing. So people with cancer if there's like certain gene mutations that are causing that cancer mm -hmm. uh, they'll go in and identify the exact uh, mutation and find a treatment that has a higher success rate of treating that mm -hmm. and so you mentioned how uh they've been using genetic testing for yeah before. yeah so i used to work at the i used to work in the council center before my days of film <laughs> and um uh, yeah i used to create patient accounts and i used to create patient accounts that would uh uh lead to uh, them going to get genetic testing and uh it was pretty interesting work they did over there uh, the salmon's uh charles salmon's uh, council center so you know i think uh, every year they they come up with something they come up with something new new developments that can help uh that can help prolong life so i think that's good that's awesome yeah all right. Any movies you want to see? Ooh, not really movies. I mean, there's a couple good movies that I want to see. Uh, Craven the Hunter is coming out. Uh, uh -huh. We talked about that last week. It's gonna be dope. Uh, there's a lot of shirt off scenes. The in Red that. Hulk. The Red Hulk. That's not the name of it. That's oh, I know that's not the name. <laughs> What's the name? <laughs> so there is a new Captain America coming out, and it's gonna have it's gonna have a Red Hulk in it. So that's gonna be that's gonna be dope, you know. So uh, I'm more excited about DC. I'm going into DC. Uh, land. We're going into DC land right now. Uh, the Penguin, the sh Penguin show is coming out. So this is going to be a uh, a piggyback off of the Batman, uh, Robert Patterson's uh, version of the Batman. So uh, are you familiar with Twilight? Mm -hmm. I know who Robert Patterson is. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So he is he is uh, now the Batman. All right. Yep, I saw it. Okay, bit bit. So now we get the Penguin. You know, Colin Farrell is going to be. So, so is he gonna be in that? Yeah, so he was the penguin. No, I'm saying um, Robert Patterson. Is he? No, gonna, no, uh, no, no. I mean, they might show like a glimpse of him a okay. time, a time or two, but this. No, I think this might be like this pre predates him. I think this. Predates okay, so it's straight penguin. Yeah, so it's straight penguin. It's gonna be his uh, his rise uh, through the criminal uh, criminal underworld in Gotham. You know, so it's gonna be it's gonna be dark. It's gonna be Gotham City. And it's a TV show. It's a TV show. Where is it gonna be? Uh, it's gonna be uh, HBO. 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 Max. So it's going to be on HBO Max. It's going to be, I think it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to give us that same grimy, 
a grim look at Gotham that we saw through the Batman. So I think uh, I think that's gonna be cool. I'm laughing because I was in Deep Ellum this past weekend. Grimy. Grimy. Uh, Deep Ellum is now. I was gonna segue into Grimy. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> that, like, that is it, but we ain't gonna say that. Okay, all right? we I ain't thought that, that was their like, thing. To we ain't be a gonna gritty. No, no, no. I mean, it is, but we ain't gonna do that. We ain't okay. gonna do that, you know? So, but that's the Batman I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm also looking forward to some things, some segues uh, into. You know what's going on around here so uh, we had never satisfied studios right now uh, we got a lot of things going on this week um, and uh, going into September the next month so we got a big uh, we got a networking event coming up so if you're if you're in the marketing uh, if you're in the marketing space if you're in the media space if you just want to meet some new people meet some new friends uh, that's in these spaces you should come to our event on the 12th okay and it's gonna be at the uh, autonomous society brewery and it's gonna be pretty cool you gonna meet some cool people, so that's coming up. Uh, also, uh, our artist uh, Lardy B, she's gonna be performing at the Float this year. Okay, so the Juggalos, Mammoth you know, Springs. Mammoth Springs, Arkansas. woo woo, Juggalos. You know, if you know about the Juggalos, you know it's gonna be some wild stuff. It's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, extracurricular activities and some fun shit stuff. Okay, <laughs> so if you a Juggalo, hey, shout out to you. Y'all gonna have Lardy B. So. Um, so yeah, that's what's popping this week. Uh, Still? This, yeah, so. Um, it's next weekend. Next weekend. Yeah, next the thirty first through the entire Memorial weekend. Yeah, Memorial. that's when she'll be out there. Yeah, yeah. Is um, it, I always get Memorial Day and Labor Day confused. I always get it confused. Cause they're people holidays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hang on, do with yeah, me. People holidays. <laughs> I like how you put that. I'll be at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, man, that's uh, that's been this week. That's been this week. What'd What's you learn this week? Yeah, I beat you to it. You're taking my segment. Oh, my bad. Let's go back. And that's the <laughs> second time you did it in this episode. I'm sorry. I'm rewinding. Go ahead. What's something you learned this week about yourself, man? About myself. All right. So me at this tender age of blah 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 blah. So I have learned. Okay, everything ain't for me. Okay, everything ain't for me. I'm trying. I tried to, cause if you know me, you know that I don't eat spicy foods. Okay, I'm not a person that eats spicy foods. I shouldn't eat spicy foods. It just ain't in me, you know. So, but I have a, uh, I have grown a taste for it somehow. You know, spicy foods. Yeah. Anything in particular, or just spice? so Wingstop has this sandwich. It's called the Korean barbecue sandwich. Okay, I had it before. I had it a couple weeks ago. Korean barbecue. Korean sandwich. barbecue sandwich. It's it's really good. It's fire. It's hot. You know, and I had it a couple weeks ago and I enjoyed it. I ate the whole thing. I was like, man, this ain't even this ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? So I tried to eat it the other day. Yo, broke out in the sweats. My stomach started hurting. It was just it wasn't a good sign for your boy to keep going. I got halfway through that sandwich and just had to quit. You know, and I've learned from that experience, I probably shouldn't be eating spicy foods. Yeah. You know, I feel like once you get to a certain age, you can't be trying new stuff no more. Yeah. You yeah. just got to stick to You just got to stick to your, your belly's diet. there. That's it. That's it's it. It's built with boundaries. I think it's built boundaries. I think it's built boundaries. And that's a boundary that I am going to respect from now on. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, sometimes your body sets boundaries with you. Talk to them. And that's okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's, yeah. That's cool. I'm okay with that. What Thanks. about you? What you got? Well, this week I learned that I need glasses. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club, cuz. And I have a hole in my eye. Oh, that sounds scary. My doctor said it's nothing to lose sleep over. But I would lose all sleep. I would look at the doctor and I say, I got on How? Google and they told me my retina could detach when I'm 30 to 40. So your shit could just fall out? I could go blind in my eye. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. You said it could just deter like my retina can detach. So it's not my eyeball, but it's my like pupil, like my retina. So your shit is gonna be floating around in there. Oh my god. That is the shit that builds so nightmares. Y'all pray for her. Pray for her retina. That but stay I'm also attached. sitting here thinking, like, we haven't shouted out what what this is. 
Which part? We're at Never Satisfied. We at Never Satisfied. What I, do we do here at Never segue. Satisfied? That's a hard segue to go from your eye about to fall out to the Never Satisfied, JJ. She said don't lose sleep over I'm me. I'm losing sleep for you. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. We talk about Never Satisfied. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, I, it was done. I'm I never not think going, about it anymore. I'm never not going to think about your eye falling I'm out. I'm going to the doctor next Thursday, so. You go, I'm going to go with you in prayer and spirit. Okay? Okay. Whew. Pray for her. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, Never Satisfied Studios, where we do everything from media solutions to music videos with artists, uh, film work, documentaries, televisions. A little small fact, if you did not know, do you remember the Tiger King? You remember the Tiger King with Joe Exotic? Yeah. They was the first producers on that, okay? So they've been paving the way for a long time, okay? So just remember that. Remember that next time you turn on your TV. That you got people in your city that's ready to work, ready to do some things, and been doing some things, man. Shout out to Radio Raheem, man. CEO. In your city. Even if we're not in your city. Even if we're not in your city, we're going to come to you. in our city. Yeah. No, for sure. Hit us up. I mean. Hit us up. It'll be tagged. Tagged. Yo. Um, Tell Radio to open up the bistro. Cause yeah, man. We need them. I'm sitting here looking at this. I don't know if y'all know, man. We uh, Bistro 808. We need a we need a comeback for Bistro I need that 808. Bayou burrito. That Bayou burrito was so good. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, man. Say, so, hey, and if you know, like I know, man, it is time to wrap this thing up, man. We are Shit IDK Podcast. My name is Lance Moore, Jaden J. We out. <laughs> JJ, what we're